please let us know in the chat. If you'd like to ask a question. We'll start with Ansar Khan. Yeah, uh, Simon, just uh, in general, just your impressions so far of training camp. Uh, yeah, this is my first training camp and uh, of course it's fun. It's finally begins and uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, it feels better every day, I think. Uh, I start to know all the guys and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. How are you feeling now after uh, you know development camp and uh, the World Juniors? Just uh, are you more accustomed, getting more acclimated to to the smaller rinks and just the North American game? I mean, how comfortable do you feel in that respect? Uh, I think uh, that's one part of it. Like it feels better every day. Uh, I think, of course, I played on big guys all my life, and to change to smaller ice is. It's take a time, but uh, yeah, as I said, it feels better every day. And the guys helping me a lot with, with what to do in different situations. So yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just learning right now. What's been the message from uh, Derek and the coaching staff of, of what they want to see from you here in, in this camp and, and what you need to do to, to push for a job? Uh, of course, they, they put... Uh, expectations on me uh, and yeah uh, I feel like they they communicate good with me and yeah want me to to be better every day so that's uh, that's just a good talk that we have and uh, yeah, I feel like we have good communication there thank you Art Regner Hi, Simon. Um, I'm kind of curious and nothing against the World Junior Tournament or the Prospects Tournament or Development Camp or anything. But is there a sense of relief for you, considering all the hype surrounding you that, hey, this is it. This is camp. I'm on the ice with pros. I, you know, it's all in my hands now. It's this is what I play the game for. Uh, yeah, of course. It's... Uh... Yeah, you talked about like World Juniors prospect camp, and uh, it was, uh, of course, it's. I don't know how to explain it, but to I, I played with with uh, grown up men like for for two years, and uh, and it's it's kind of a different with all the strategy, the strategy and uh, everything, and of course sometimes you just think, oh, it's just hockey, but uh, yeah, that's that's something. Uh, that feels better in my game, like uh, more strategy. And uh, yeah, I think that's a different thing, but uh, yeah, I'm working my way through it. I think. Uh, I, again, I know that you, you, you brought up playing against men in the SHL, and I know you've only been on the ice two days with the Red Wings themselves or the core of the Red Wing players. Um, what is your impression? Do you know that, it's an entirely different league or that the talent level is somewhat comparable. Uh, can you say that again? Okay. I, I'm just kind of curious. I, I know Ansar kind of asked this, but uh, you played in the SHL. You brought up that you played against men. I'm just kind of curious. Do you see a different level now that you're in an NHL camp as opposed to an SHL camp, shall we say? Oh yeah, of course. Uh, of course it's, it's smaller ice and uh, the players are, uh, yeah, they're really good here. Like the skilled and yeah, that's just my, my way to, to prove that I can play against these guys. And uh, so far it's, it feels, uh, feels good, but I have a lot to develop to, to really be the best me here. And uh, you can't, really compare as a chill to to this camp it's uh it's a whole different uh kind of hockey i think but somewhere it's just it's hockey you you try to learn the different way to play and uh, yeah that's that's what i think it's the most important 
one and one final question for me, and I, I certainly appreciate your time, is that you know we hear so much about the adjustment of making to the smaller ice surface. Um, is it is it both mental and a physical adjustment, or is it maybe a mental barrier you have to get over that hey, it's a smaller ice surface, but it's still hockey. Uh, good question, but I think like, as I said, it's different kind of place that you do in different kind of areas. And, uh, that's what I need to, to learn when I need to play the simple game, uh, when I can have the position and that's what a coach and the players help me a lot with and, uh, yeah, that's what I think keep getting better. Uh, so, yeah, if that answer the question. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Max Bowman. Hey, Simon, you talked about kind of the expectations that the coaches have kind of explained to you. What are some of the things that they've told you? You know, these are the things that we expect from you. This is what we want to see. Uh, of course, they have the same expectations on me like they have on everybody else. It's you need to earn your spot and and uh yeah that's uh, that's what i told me and that's what i want to do i want to earn my spot i don't want to get it given because yeah some hype that i get i want to really feel that i that i can play my game in in that league and against these players so that's what i tried to develop every day here uh we have two practices each day and uh yeah, that feels kind of good. What's the feedback been from guys like Cronwall and Lidstrom, especially after seeing you in the prospect tournament? Uh, yeah, as they said, it's like, of course, it's kind of hard to to uh, adjust from uh, from each each league and uh, and small rice and yeah. Uh, they said that I play good, but I have, uh, I don't think I played that good. And I feel like I have higher expectations on myself. So, uh, yeah, but we, we talk a lot about this training camp and, uh, and how to play, uh, in different kind of areas here. So yeah, we talked a lot about that. And then last thing, what have you thought of, uh, Lucas's play so far? I know, I think you guys were in the same group for the battle drills down there. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he liked to battle and uh, and that's fun. It's like keep everyone else going and uh, yeah, he kept me going uh, today. And uh, I feel like that's one thing that I really learned that you need to be so much aggressive, like harder on the player. Uh, so uh, yeah, he teaches me some. Uh, he teaches me um, things and a lot of guys do so. Yeah, I just take everything that I can get and yeah, keep building on that. Thank you. John Neal. Hey, Simon, I'm just wondering, is there anybody that in particular that's sort of taking you under their wing or, or looked out for you here away from the rink um, while you're up here in Travers? Uh, one guy that I talk a lot with right now uh, and maybe not right now we're a different group but Ben Chariot has helped me yeah with uh, with some stuff and uh, Oli Mata has uh, helped me now on the ice uh, with different kind of things and uh, of course Gustav Lindstrom that is my my deep partner here and uh, uh, we talk a lot about different situations and uh, yeah of course he's been in the league a few years now and he helps me with with stuff as well so uh yeah, it's been a couple of guys and, and Larkin wants me to get harder. So he's on me a little bit, but yeah, that's, uh, that's just good. I think. Kevin Allen. Yeah, Simon. Um, last year at the beginning of the season, there was a lot of uh, video that was coming through social media and all the fans were getting kind of excited about, you know, the development that you had had, but at what point last year in the Swedish hockey league season, did you sort of kind of take that step mentally? Like, you know, that you had the confidence that you were ready to come over here and do it. I mean, obviously you knew you were a good prospect. You were drafted high, but when last season did you start to feel, you know, I may be ready right now to go over next season. 
Uh, oh, <laughs> there's a lot of hard questions here, but <laughs> uh, I don't think it was just one time that I feel like, okay, now I'm ready. I, I feel like we were, I'm, I'm so into the game. I, I'm so into the team to get the team play better. So I don't really think about that much. And all the hype around, of course, uh, it was some media that come forward and say to me, uh, it was it was some kind of hype, but I feel like we were, we had a good team last year and I, I really was playing for the team. I didn't look at, at uh, next season and, uh, and on and on. Uh, I feel that's not how I play. Uh, you just keep, keep my concentration on other places. So, of course, I thought about it sometimes, but uh, it was not a certain time that I feel like, okay, now I'm ready to go over. Uh, of course, it's, it's a lot of different adjustments that I, that I need to learn here, and uh, it's different kind of place in hockey over here. Uh, so I think uh, now I really feel that I need to need to develop these kind of things to to really earn my spot. And it was nothing last year I really thought about it. Okay, now I'm ready. Because yeah, if you feel like now you're ready, you, you just can't be better, I think. And you've mentioned that you set the bar pretty high for yourself. Um, uh, in that regard, like, what do you see if there was one thing that you could improve on here at training camp that you think you know i could really use this if i can do this better what would that be uh yeah it's like the guys is on me on uh, uh, larkin especially like to be harder to win my one-on-ones duels because i have a pretty big body a pretty long reach to and in sweden it's kind of your time uh everything there it's I don't know how to explain it, but it's different kind of one-on-one -on -one duels along the boards. Here you need to be more aggressive and, and that's what I really need to, to be better on, I think. And uh, if I work on that, feel comfortable about that, I, I think the game is going to step up and I'm going to build my confidence from that because I'm a, I'm a demon and I want to be good on both sides. I want to be like good on everything. So. Yeah, it's a lot of different things that I uh, I want to be better on. Okay, thanks for doing this, Simon. George Malik. Yes, Simon. I was wondering, um, what what? How do you feel that the systems that the Red Wings are employing are different from what you uh, played in Sweden with for Lunda? Uh, that's the thing. I don't think it's that much difference. Of course, it's just like it's it's not that big difference small things that are are kind of similar um but yeah i feel i feel it's a good system and uh yeah it's it feels good and and are you feeling a little more comfortable um in terms of you know not only having the prospect tournament and pl playing in, De in detroit in the summer for a bit uh but now getting into your second day of training camp, do you sort of feel at home? Uh, yeah, I, I start to, to feel at home, actually. I, I, uh, there's a lot of different things here in America, but <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I start to feel like I have, uh, have home here. I start to dream in English, actually. So that's, that's weird, but, uh, yeah, it's uh, start to feel like home. Thank you. Jonathan Mills. Hey, Simon, just a quick one for me. Um, when you look back on your development as a professional hockey player, what kind of stands out to you as an area that you think you've improved on the most? Uh, can you say that again? Sure. When you look back on your career as a professional hockey player, what area do you personally think that you have grown in the most? Uh, oh, uh, I think... I would say like my biggest area that I grow the most is maybe, maybe the defense. Uh, I think that's just important for me to, to be good 
in. And uh, yeah, I see that as a as the root of everything, like the ground. Uh, a good defense leads to to good offensive. So I, I will say that. Appreciate it. Ted Colfin. Simon, the fact that you're dreaming in English, I think that's a big turning point. That's a big one right there. What did you dream about? I, I can't explain this. <laughs> hey, well, who is, did you have a favorite player growing up or maybe like trying to pattern somebody's game like that? Uh, yeah, of course. I don't think I have just one. Uh, I watch a lot of different players and... Uh, yeah, from a lot of different teams. Uh, but one that I I watch here is uh, is actually uh, Cider. I think he's uh, he's playing a a kind of hard game that I that I want to develop, and uh, I try to see much in the on the practices when he's on and uh, how how he plays. Of course, yeah, we have a different kind of play style, but. A lot of things that he do, I can do as well uh, to be hard and and play the puck. Uh, so, yeah, that's one player, and of course you can name a lot of them. But uh, yeah, that's particularly one that I I look right now. Have you talked to him a lot? Have you have you gotten a little bit of a relationship with him now? Uh, I talked to him the first time i was back in detroit uh when i we practice together uh then we have been in different groups and uh yeah he's on the other group uh so yeah we haven't talked that much we have like gone past each other uh, uh but uh, yeah otherwise than that we haven't we haven't really uh, spoke that much we haven't seen each other much at all it's kind of interesting. A lot of people think that you two could be here for a long, long time, and you know, pillars and you know, big players on the defense. I don't know. Have you thought about that a lot, a little bit, or you know, a lot into the future? But you two could be here a long time. Uh, yeah, uh, of course, that would be that would be fun, really fun. Uh, yeah, I need to, I need to be there for his. Uh, yeah, one of the best uh, defensemen in the league, I think. And uh, right now, I need to earn my spot into the team, and that's what I am right now. Uh, so I just try to look at him as much as possible to develop my game from there and maybe reach that level sometime. The last one, if you do have to go to Grand Rapids, would that be a disappointment or you kind of understand probably? Uh, yeah, it would be understandable. Like. If they, if I don't make a spot, it's just myself that uh, need to be better and earn my spot in in the in the Red Wing roster. So it's just up to me. It's not up to anyone else. So yeah, that's what I think. Sounds good. Thanks for this, Simon. Last question, Helene St. James. Hey, Simon. How excited are you next week? I mean, just to get into an exhibition game and and be that close to seeing how you, what it's like. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't really got there yet. It's training camp, and I'm just uh, yeah, excited right now to, to practice with all the those guys that I watch playing NHL, like Larkin and, and Jabber Tutsi and uh, those guys. So, yeah, to play an exhibition game is, uh, of course, I'm looking forward to it. And just having played the SHL, do you feel like... Um you're prepared for the physical battles in the NHL. You know, what we saw from Moritz Sider last season was he didn't back down even as a rookie, um, you know, against veterans that, that that's, you need to have that mindset too, that just cause you're young and new, you know, to exert yourself, yourself physically. Yeah, of course they don't uh, think that you are a young guy and uh, all we don't go as hard as on him that we go on the veterans. I need to be harder than the veterans, I think. And uh, that's what I like to talk about before. That, uh, that's one thing the cider has 
built really well and it's really good on so that's what i want to develop even more and uh yeah that doesn't happen over one day it's it's take time and you need to to be in the mindset for that so yeah of course i'm gonna i'm gonna work on that each day i mean uh, did steve give you any advice coming into camp just regarding all the hype surrounding you or anything I say, as he says, like, play your, play your game of hockey. That's why you're here. And that's, uh, yeah, listen to those guys that's been in the league and try to learn from them. And yeah, that's what I have done. I worked hard. I listened to them and I tried to be better each day I, here. Last one. Uh, have you gotten to do any, or what's your favorite non-hockey thing you've gotten to do while you were here in Traverse City? away from the arena uh i i think we we went out fishing but we didn't got that many so that was not the best thing but we played some mini golf and i won so yeah that was the that was the best thing here well, who'd you play with or against uh, in golf? yeah it was uh we were a lot of swedish swedish guys they used oh we play some mini golf and Okay. So yeah, have... yeah, so I will say that I'm the best uh, mini golf player here. Okay. Right Let's start. <laughs> Thanks, Simon. Thanks. All right. That's all for us today. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Thanks. Nice.